we wanted to honor and commemorate a fallen local hero, 39-year-old Fulton County Deputy Troy Chisholm was viciously slain in the line of duty. A family member of his told me that he dedicated his life to helping people. This community has lost a great man, and this is our salute to his end of watch. Tragic circumstances, Fulton County, Illinois. Tony Jackson, investigative reporter. In Fulton County last night in Avon, Illinois, there was a murder. Fulton County Deputy Sheriff Troy Chisholm, age 39, was gunned down as he walked to a call off of Troy Road, coincidentally. On that call, a suspect shot him down multiple times. And we are now in the hometown of Deputy Sheriff Chisholm because he was born and raised in Canyon and he graduated from Canyon High School. Up on the coming, you will see a bunch, a bunch of agencies from far away as Indiana, if not further. He was formerly an EMT, and so he's in a he was in the business of saving lives, and unfortunately, on that tragic day, his life was taken approximately at 2 p.m. Again, on a domestic call to save a life. It's bad how in this world, time, day, and age, that people find it so easily to kill it, kill each other. It's really despicable to think that a human being could gun down a police officer. Because people complain about police throughout the country, but I know when I have a problem, and you have a problem, the first people we call is the police officer. Now back, you are now going to watch all these cars coming through. We are in Kent, Illinois, his hometown, fittingly, of Deputy Chisholm. All these cars coming through are in his honor. They started in Peoria, Illinois, which is approximately 45, 50 minutes away. They took Route 116 through Hannah City, Triboli, Farmington. They got to Farmington turned left onto 78 and came through the city of Farmington. All these vehicles in honor of that 39 year old officer. This murder happens to be the fifth murder in the month of June, tying a record for the most murders of a police officer on duty in, in the United States. Imagine these police officers, these law enforcement officers, these paramedics, they all stand here in his honor of this deputy who laid his life on the line. This day mimics the one which he was gunned down at, which was a hot, sunny day on a call. A police officer remarked to me in the past, domestic calls are the worst ones out here, but those are the ones where the most violent where people are out of control. I spotted Martinville Police, Illinois State Police, and definitely Kent Police, his hometown. Deputy Chisholm was loved by everyone. This is our hometown.
how fittingly that, how fitting that, excuse me, that Debbie Chisholm has rolled from Peoria, Illinois, 45 miles away, into Lewiston, which is actually the home of the Fulton County Sheriff, and actually the, the Courthouse County seat. Troy's final journey. Lewiston County C. This is where Troy's final journey ended. Troy had a procession like this where people drove from Peoria, Illinois all the way up into Lewiston County, Illinois. They came through Havana, Travoli, Farmington, his hometown of Cat, Illinois, which was strong with many supporters because Troy was a good man who has worked for the EMT and he was about saving lives, a good humanitarian. He woke up every day, a man on a mission. All these people poured out, so many hundreds of others strong throughout so many places. I couldn't get all the footage, so much. This is the courthouse right here, Fulton County Courthouse. This is where Troy's justice Sometimes it's a mere traffic ticket, and I'm sure sometimes those domestic batteries took place. This Fulton County Sheriff car was the last car that Deputy Chisholm was in. Ride with those stingy guys showing gas. <laughs> this is what you call walking for mankind for real. a humanitarian and a minister of justice, a father, and from what I gather, a good human being. Fulton County Jail hasn't seen a murder of a police officer in recent times.
Deputy Chisholm, rest in heaven. This has been Tony Jackson, your investigative reporter.